What's up, cooks? It's Wednesday. I'm sitting out here on the front porch because I have a confession to make. We went into the big city, right? And I saw, we drove by and I saw an Ollie. And I was like to Eric, I was like, I'm just going to go in and um, survey the cookbook situation, right? Next thing I know, I came out with a basket full of cookbooks. So it's Wednesday. I want to show you what I got. Um, I got some really cool uh, cookbooks and I'm really excited because my cookbook collection is, my cook, my cookbook collection is pretty cool. And um, so I wanna show you what I got uh, to add to our cookbook library. So join me, it's Wednesday. Let's take a look at some new cookbooks. up to no good because I'm in Ollie's doing a quick cookbook sweep. <laughs> yeah, I would say we're going to have a cookbook haul on our hands. <laughs> so we have all these bags. When I brought my um, my card up there, the cashier was like, woo, woo, right? <laughs> so let's see what we got. One of the things I try to do is I kind of try to limit getting a lot of taste of home because some of their books have like the same recipes over and over. And Ollie's tends to have a lot of them. So I think I only got a couple. Otherwise, all this is, <laughs> I got some good stuff in here. So like I said, I tried to limit the Taste of Home re uh, books because sometimes the recipes are, they repeat a lot. So I did get this Cook It Quick 10, 20, and 30 minute uh, recipes. This is marked 1748 from Walmart, and I paid $4.99 for it. Um, so it covers 10 minute, 20 minute, 30 minute, 45 and 60 minute meals. So this is kind of interesting. Brownie batter dip for some apples. Um, cannelloni bean hummus. Looks kind of interesting. Sometimes I, you know, need something that I can make really quick because I'm busy. I've got work and all that stuff. And yeah, spiced rub chicken thighs. I like that. So these are in here based on the amount of time that, um, it takes to make them. So that's an egg roll noodle bowl. That looks really good. Um, hmm. Sun-dried tomato pasta. Yeah, some of these look pretty tasty. 45 minute meals. Um, this looks pretty cool. I'm gonna spend a little time with this. So also on the Taste of Home front, we have this Farmhouse Favorites. This too at Walmart was $18.88 and Ollie's it was $5.99. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I guess this just means like country cooking. Is that what Farmhouse Favorites is? Ooh, that looks really good. Um, a taste of the country. Of course, we're going to have a barn there. Um, pancakes and quiche. Coffee cakes. Hashes. Honey bagels. Ooh, I do want to learn to make bagels. Um, down home lunches. So, what do we have here on the table of contents? Farmhouse breakfast, down-home lunches, oven-fresh breads, crowds-pleasing snacks, country-kissed side dishes, comforting dinners, slow-cook instant pot and air fryer, cookies, bars, and brownies, and desserts. So this looks pretty cool. I will give them to this because this is sort of outside their regular look of their cookbooks. All their cookbooks seem to look the same. They format them all the same. 
And, you know, they have so many of them. And you just kind of get tired of that same old, ooh, same old format. Tomato, avocado, and grilled corn salad. Um, it's kind of nice to see Taste of Home getting away, you know, in this book with their classic look to the book and having something um, that looks more modern. So I like this. So farm house favorites. And the last of the taste of home <laughs> is grandma's favorites. I tried to stay away from, you know, that tasted the classic taste at home kind of books because I just don't want a bunch of repeats. So this was $4.99 and I saw this pie and I was like, the pie can come with me, right? So these are grandma's favorites. Snacks, breakfast, soups, salads, breads, kind of standard cakes, pies, desserts. This look at, like it could be kind of interesting. It is formatted um, the classic taste of home kind of way. I mean, they're nice cookbooks. It's just... You know, if you have like four or five, six taste at home cookbooks and they all are sort of formatted exactly the same, it's like, you know, I guess it's their look, but sometimes it's nice to have things that are different. So that's just what I'm saying. I do like taste of home books, but you know, I don't know. So we got salads, fruit salads, rice salad. Oh, I love rice salad. Baked beans, a lot of classic stuff. I wonder if I compare this to some of their other cookbooks, like their comfort food kind of cookbooks to see um, if there's repeats. So look at that parsley potatoes. Ooh, that looks good. Um, <laughs> continental zucchini, canola, zucchini, garlic, pimentos, corn, salt, lemon pepper, and cheese. That looks really good. Um, one thing I can say about, ooh, mushroom mice medley. They have a lot of sort of like standard fare, not very, um, not like, you know, would take you out of your comfort zone kind of recipes. Um, sort of your classic down home kind of recipes with common ingredients. So that's one great thing about them. You don't really have to go out and search for a lot of different ingredients because they, a lot of their stuff are just, you know, common everyday type, um, recipes. So this is the William Sonoma Instant Pot Cookbook. I have several authorized by Instant Pot. I have several Instant Pot cookbooks. I don't think I have this William Sonoma one. Um, if I do have it, I'll give this one. But um, that looks delicious. I think I saw the spiced carrot and cashew soup, and I was like, I'm getting it just because of that recipe. Um, Oh, this looks really good. It's a little small book. I think this was like a dollar, dollar ninety nine. And of course, we have some Amish baking, traditional recipes for bread, cookies, cakes, and pies from the editor of Good Books. I don't know what that is. Um, so this was six ninety nine. A hundred authentic dishes from Amish kitchens. Um, sometimes things are labeled Amish and it's not really Amish. So we got bread, pies, cakes, and cookies. So a little introduction to the Amish. So obviously this isn't written by anybody who's Amish. <laughs> Basic white breads, whole wheats, potatoes, yeast buns. I'm down with all this. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What was that? Potato buns and donuts. Mm hmm. Glazed donuts. Cream filled donuts. Sticky buns. I think I'm going to like this book. Pie crust. Pies. Okay, yeah, this is a good one. I got hooked up with this one. Cookies and cakes. A lot of basic ice water cake, angel food cake. 
crumb cake, spice cake, shoe fly cake. So I got this welcome home cookbook. It says Hope Comerford, editor of the Fix It and Forget It series. So this is for the slow cooker, stovetop, and oven. So what I like about these um, binder kind of cookbooks is makes it easy to find things. Some th sometimes when I'm cooking something, I want to photocopy it out of here because if I know if I'm going to make a mess, I'm, I'll make a mess on the photocopy and not on the book. So this book um, covers appetizers, breakfast, breads, soups, stews, and chilies, main dishes, pasta, grilling, vegetables, salads, desserts, snacks, sauces, holiday favorite, and it has an index. So this is for the slow cooker, stovetop, and oven. So it's pretty much all manners of <laughs> cooking, right? Um, let's look at the breads. White bread, yeast, water, flour, sugar, salt, and shortening. I probably would change that out for butter. I don't know though. Might have a different result. Um, whole wheat breads, no need breads, stuck together pages. Okay, this book is not cut, right? Um, not cut rolls, <clears throat> zucchini bread with cranberries. I have to be gentle with this because it's not cut very well. Beef, oh, marinated flank steak with bottled teriyaki sauce. Um, <laughs> So this is Together, our community cookbook, and this um, benefits the Hub Community Kitchen. Um, so I thought this was kind of interesting. When I looked at this, it has quite a few interesting recipes. Um, Um, porridges, Moroccan pancakes, green omelet, beignets, kebabs, um, all kinds of fun stuff. I think these kind of recipes will more challenge your skills, take you outside that, you know, your basic comfort zone of where you've been cooking like standard recipes all the time. Potato fritters with cilantro chutney. Um, samosas, green chili and avocado dip. Yeah, I like this. I really, really like this. So this is the quick and easy Italian recipes. This is from the Silver Spoon. So if you know anything about Italian cookbooks, the Silver Spoon is like one of those classic kind of joy of cooking type books for Italian, um, Italian cuisine. It is a standard classic. So this is sort of an offshoot of the Silver Spoon and it's quick and easy Italian recipes. I did look up some reviews on here and people talk about these are like really easy uh, recipes, really simple and easy. So I thought this would be interesting when I saw it um, that I could start with this instead of just jumping straight into the silver spoon. Um, I thought this was interesting um, with uh, cauliflower. I want to try this out. I'm going to have to leave the cheese off, but um, orchette with broccoli, spring linguine. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah, I, I scored with this one right here. I think I, I paid $6.99 for this. So I saw these two books here, Simple Desserts, the Easiest Recipes in the World. 
and simple two more of the easiest recipes in the world. So these are supposedly six ingredients or less. And if you want to talk about cooking for dummies, right? This is perfect for me because when you look at the recipes, the recipes is like, here's what you're going to make. Here's a picture of everything that you're going to use and the directions. So this is like a pear amaretti tartlet. So you're going to use shortbread cookies. They're not showing you how to make the cookies. Um, they've got butter, pears, honey, and amare amaretti cookies. And this is what you're going to make. So basically you have a cookie, the pears, um, with other cookies at the, over the top, right? Very simple recipes. Um, I don't know how I'm going to dig this. I just thought it was kind of funny. When I looked this up, I was in the store. These things get really good reviews. Um, I might try some recipes out of here and then, I don't know, maybe pass this along. This looks pretty interesting. A clementine malu. I don't know how to pronounce that. Butter, clementines, confection, sugar, all-purpose flour, baking powder, and eggs. Like, you know, I feel like I am sort of an intermediate level cook. Um, I think I've moved past the being a beginner cook. Um, and I don't necessarily need a book to have a picture of an egg, you know, to tell me to put eggs. I just think this is kind of funny. Um, the recipes look really interesting to me and, um, yeah. So even though they look pretty simple, some of these things are things that I've just never, never have made. So, um, I got these, right? They were $5.99 and this one here is $5.99 as well. Um, pinwheels, oysters. So they have some really good recipes with only like less six or less ingredients. Spaghetti with puttanesca sauce. Um, hmm. So I thought this was kind of interesting. Next up, I got the Essential Air Fryer Cookbook. They had quite a few air fryer cookbooks. Um, so this is from the author of the Instant Pot Bible. I've seen their names before. So this was $4.99. I figured this book was worth it because this has a lot of great, uh, air fryer recipes like this thing is chock full of recipes um so i really wanted to play around with this and see if i ooh flautas um <laughs> see if i can you know develop some of my own get some ideas and develop some of my own recipes for the air fryer um chicken fried steak this looks pretty cool so yeah i like this book so then I got this book, Canning Essentials. They didn't have too many canning books. They only had this one and one other one. So I just got this one. Um, Jam-packed with tools, techniques, and recipes for fruits, veggies, jams, pickles, salsa, and more. thought this was pretty interesting. I like this section on equipment. Um, a lot of stuff on canning. Um, some recipes, so like half the book is recipes and then half the book is on how to can. So I thought this was pretty interesting. Um, you're going to laugh at this one. Uh, yeah, I got the pure vanilla cookbook from McCormick. Hey now. Um, when I asked Eric about this, he threw this in the thing, I believe. Um, I thought this would have like a lot of really basic recipes and it does carrot cake, cheesecakes, um, creme brulee, apple pie, peppermint, chocolate, lasagna. I thought this was kind of interesting, funny, sort of like a novelty.
I got a couple Taste of Home kind of magazine cookbooks. This one is pumpkin. Um, so I'll be using it this fall. Yeah. I love when fall comes, I'm like all pumpkin, right? Hot chocolate pumpkin keg. <laughs> um, this is holiday cookies. Yeah. Frosted peanut cookies. Yeah, right. And this is holiday baking. Um, these were $1.29 each, so I just got it. Vanilla ring cake. Um, you know, Taste of Home has a lot of, you know, fun basic recipes that if you cooked your way through a, a Taste of Home book, you will learn a lot and a lot of different dishes. Um, the only thing, like I said, the issue I have is, oh, many of their books are exactly the same. I think some of them overlap. And um, there's not a lot of variety in how the book is set up and how it's presented. So if you like that consistency, um, Taste of Home is great for that. And of course, I had to get a Mexican cookbook. This is a complete book of Mexican cooking because Mexican food is my absolute favorite. I am a California girl through and through. I grew up eating Southwest cuisine and most of the time that's all I ever want to eat. Um, yeah. Mango salsa, roasted tomato and coriander salsa. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have fun with this book. And along those lines, I also got a crock pot Mexican slow cooker book. This was $6.99. Um, yeah, refried bean dip with blue corn tortillas. This is like all up my alley. This is my food, right? New Mexico green chili stew. Spanish paella with chicken and sausage. Yeah, this is this is my food right here. So I thought this book was kind of interesting. It's called The Nimble Cook, New Strategies for Great Meals That Make the Most of Your Ingredients, Rana Welsh. I paid $7.99 for this, and there's a quote from Jacques Papin in here. Um, thought this book looked really interesting. I am not familiar with this book at all. Um, I just saw it and I was like, the wastefulness of meal planning, having a dish in mind ahead of time does provide direction, guidance, and assurance, but recipes don't always take into account the food we have on hand, not to mention our appetite. That's one of the problems with me when I try to meal plan or I try to do freezer meals. Usually I'm driven by what I have the taste for that day. So if I meal plan out, I may not want what I meal planned for that day. So it's really hard for me to meal plan. I, I have to have meal plans that are really, you know, flexible, like so many meals during the week, the food for those, but not specifically, oh, I'm going to eat this on this day because I am totally driven by what I, um, what I have a taste for at any time. So meal planning is, is quite difficult to, for me. I thought this book was really interesting. I like how it has the drawings in here. Um, I thought I could sit down with this book and really, you know, have fun with it. Roasted cauliflower, shaved fennel. Um, yeah, I like this book. And of course I had to get a cookie book. This is actually a Betty Crocker. $4.99. This is normally $16.48. Sheesh. Um, so this is going to be your classic kind of, you know, Betty Crocker cookies. Look at the macarons. Cookie and bars, classics, baking spirits, bright lunchbox, make it special, totable treats, and too hot not to bake. Oh my gosh. So this has a lot of information in the beginning about 
you know, basic cookie information, cookie scoop sizes, storing cookies. Um, and then we got our classics, oatmeal, snickerdoodles. Um, I like this. Crinkles. Um, looking back at cookies, history of cookies, sugar cookies, gingerbread. So if you wanted to learn to make cookies, you could start with this book, start with this first chapter and cook through this entire first chapter and you've run the gamut on all the basics, right? Then you can move into others. Cranberry, rosemary, and blue cheese drops, Buckeyes, peppermint patties, easy peanut butter cookies, rum, caramel run. This is one of those type of books that you could, you could actually cook through this book and learn so much because there's so many basic cookies and then it just gets more sophisticated as you go along. Um, this is a great book. Betty Crocker's Cookies. Seasoned. This is by John Whalen, the author of Rubs and Grilling. This was originally at Target because it was like 30% off at Target. Um, 100 recipes that maximize flavor inside and out. I thought this was really, really interesting. Um, recipes grouped according to primary ingredient, 50 dishes requiring less than 20 minutes. Um, so this is really like a meat forward uh, kind of cookbook. Chicken and sausage cacciatore with rice. So it covers poultry, beef, pork, lamb, seafood, and vegetables. So it's a really meat forward uh, book. Um, this looks great. Sesame chicken, chipotle chicken enchiladas, citrus and sage chicken, um, Cornish hens, lots of chicken recipes, chicken kebabs, Puerto Rican rice and beans, buffalo wings, lots and lots of chicken recipes. This is great. Um, coffee and bourbon brisket. Now we're getting into the meat. Chimichurri strip steak. Pho. Carne asada. Ribeye with salsa verde. Yeah, this, this is a nice, very nice. So this book is called Rustic Joyful Food, My Heart's Table by Danielle Cartez. Um, very, very nice looking book. It is my hope you'll find something to love within these pages. So it doesn't seem like it covers, you know, it's like really specialty. Sounds like it's just her recipes. Um, appetizers, salads and sides, soups, main dishes, sweets, drinks. Um, simple from scratch. This looks interesting. Pantry staples, which she carries in her pantry. Black bean hummus. Thought I would try this book out, maybe try a couple recipes. And if it's not, you know, to my thing, I'll always pass it along to somebody else. Um, but I thought it was interesting. It's a pretty book, got nice pictures, um, you know, but pictures isn't, but photos isn't the reason to buy a book. The reason to buy a book is good recipes. And we're going to close this cookbook haul out with Kent Rollins. Um, I don't have any of his cookbooks, but I'm really glad to get this. He does the chuck wagon cooking on YouTube. And um, he does great, uh, great cooking. So this is Faith, Family, and the Feast, recipes to, feed, recipes to Feed Your Crew from the Grill, Garden, and Cast Iron Skillet. So, you know, his recipes are amazing. His YouTube channel is amazing. Um, he does a chuck wagon cooking. And so since we do camp cooking, um, 
I thought it would be good. So we got breakfast, appetizers, soup, salads, and breads, vegetables, grilling, beef, pork, fins, and feathers, and desserts. Um, yeah, breakfast burritos with salsa verde. See, that's my that's my kind of cooking right there. Huevos Rancheros. Definitely. Eggs Benedict. Pizza. Um, cast iron. Pumpkin pie. Pancakes. Yeah, this this book is this is my kind of cooking. Crispy bacon, cheesy steak fries. Um Bacon and art, bacon, artichoke, pasta salad. That looks amazing. Yeah, he's doing it with this. Hush puppies. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> so, cooks, thanks for joining me on this quick look at what I got at Ollie's Bargain Mart cookbooks, right? I'm so excited to try some of these cookbooks out. Um, cookies, right? Um, Oh, did I show you this? I think I missed this one. Oh, I did miss a couple. This is the Southern Living 2019 annual. I'm trying to collect all the annuals. I have some of them, but this is the annual from 2019. I totally missed this. I missed two other ones too. <laughs> Pi Squared. This is a book on... Um, um, slab pies. I made a slab pie one time before and it turned out amazing. I think it was like raspberry. So slab pies are like pies made in a sheet pan. Um, they're amazing. I remember I made, you see, you, you make them in a sheet pan. I remember I made one of these one time, long time ago when sort of slab pies were kind of the thing. Um, look at this. This looks like a, this looks like a ta uh, pop tart. <laughs> you literally make a pie in a uh, sheet pan. So this is pie squared by Kathy Barrow, Barrow. And this one, I also missed homemade Amish cooking. Gosh, what was up with me? Hearty, delicious home style cooking. This is by, I don't know. I don't know who the author of this is. Um, so this is probably one of those uh, Amish, not Amish cookbooks. <laughs> um, look at that. Yum, right? This is sausage and a apple quiche. These are two that I missed, okay? I don't know what's up with me today. It is a little dark in here, so sorry about that. Um, look at... Do you see that back there? That's the KitchenAid ice shaver that just came out. We're going to be playing with that, but I just got that. See how that is back there? I snuck that in to see if you guys would see that. Um, that is the KitchenAid ice shaver. We're going to be trying that baby out. So, um, yeah, what's up? It's Wednesday. Thanks for joining me.